Hello everyone and welcome to another PHP tutorial and today I'm going to show you how you can make a MySQL login system and uh, this will probably be over a few videos so make sure to look out for the other ones but in this first tutorial we'll be getting all the programs we need, setting them up and uh, creating all the files we need and maybe even start to code them if we don't run out of time so to start off with open up your web browser and go to Google and search for a program called XAMPP which is spelled X-A-M-P-P -P. now you should see on the first link Apache Friends and click on that and then you can see XAMPP for Linux, Windows, Mac and Solaris uh, if you're on Windows like I am you can click XAMPP for Windows and you can click download and then uh, either with the installer or a zip file if you want but I'd recommend the installer and once you have that it's going to take a while to install so just be patient with it uh, if you don't have one already you're going to need a text editor that's a bit better than notepad to code in PHP so the one that I'd recommend is notepad plus plus so again if you just do a Google search for that it's the first result here and you can just go download and then click the link here. Now once you have both of these you should have a program called XAMPP downloaded and if you open up the control panel for it you'll get a big box like this and you'll see a load of different things down here. Now at the moment we only want to press start on two. That's the first one Apache and the second one MySQL. So if we click on both of them and now we can just minimize this and forget about it for the minute and if we open up our web browser and type in localhost now if this is the first time you've done this you'll probably have a page asking you to select your language so if you just click that and then you'll be brought to this page now what we'll be using is to create a database is some software built in called PHP my admin and you can see it down here and once this is loaded up you should see a screen something like this and uh, this is all ready to work but um, for security purposes if you are say doing this online not just on a local server you want to set a password on this to make it much more secure so if we just in a new tab open up localhost again and if you go on security you can see how it says the MySQL admin user has no password so to fix this you can click here and type in a new password and then repeat it so um, I'll just create one of test123 and then um, I'll say password changing and that's now changed so if we refresh this we can log in here so username was root and password was test123 So here we are back to our PHP My Admin homepage. So now what we need to do is create a table to use in a database. So if I go um, databases and create a database, and if I um, go into call one called login and hit create, and we've now created a uh, database called, called login so we can access it by clicking it here and we're now looking at our database called login and at the moment there's nothing in it and uh, so we're going to put something in it we're going to create a table and what we're creating is a login system so we need a table to hold the people's username and password so to start off with we're going to give the first one ID and uh, we're going to do this so we can keep track of how many people there are in our database and what number they are so if we go across and hit where it says AI and that stands for auto increment so that means that it will start the first user we have at one and then it will add one to each user so the second one will be number two, third will be number three etc so next we're going to create one called username 
and this isn't going to be an int, it's not going to be a number, we're going to change this to text and uh, if we put a limit on how long it is, let's say 20 and that should do for that and if we create one called password and again that can be text and we'll make that this one say 30 long and that should be fine so we can press save oh, missing value oh yeah I never gave the table a name so um what we can do is um just give it a name and I want to call this users and press save so here it's been created now we've got a table called users here right now what we can do is we can insert data into our database into the table users so if we click on insert here we can give a username so uh, we'll call this one admin and give it a password of pass123 and then we can go and press go down here and now we've created uh, some data into our new table so if we press browse we can see what we've entered and um, and here we've got the ID of 1 and then we've got username admin and password pass123 so uh, I'll add one more just so we can use more than one later to check that everything works uh, I'll give a username of um, I'll give this one a login system and this one of test 100 so now if we press go and browse again we've got admin pass 123 and login system with test 100 and because it's auto increment the second one's gone to 2 on ID so now what we can do is we can just close out of this for now and we can open up notepad plus plus so if I just search for that okay so what we're going to need to do is create a few new documents and when working with XAMPP you have to create them in a certain directory and where this is if you go file and just try and save this file go to wherever you installed XAMPP and I installed it on my C drive here XAMPP and there'll be a folder called htdocs see so just here and this is where you'll access all of your files that you need so if here we create a new folder and call it mysql login I'm going to save the first file as index.php and we can save that and then we can create a new file and save this one uh, we can save this as login.php and on this next one here we can save it as login.success.php and that's all we really need I think to get started oh wait um, that's all we need for the login uh, but if we want to create a logout system as well we need to create another file for logout so logout.php and that's all we need for a login and logging out system with PHP so thanks for watching the first part of this tutorial and please check out the second one which will be linked on the screen and in the second one we'll start coding the index page and maybe even move on to the login page so thanks for watching please watch the other tutorials and like the video see you next time